Da 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 page one. The only makes one, and we're here for a review of... Take, Take two! two. Uh, the families of the people that he killed in number one, they're basically really pissed off, and they want uh, to bring Liam Neeson's character to justice and his family. So what they're doing is they're plotting this revenge thing, and they go and they... They're basically trying to get revenge. This is what the whole movie's about. It's just their families trying to get revenge on Liam Neeson. I thought it was a good sequel. It felt like a good movie for after the original. It felt like a good sequel, you could say. Um, I like the villains in this movie, like the bad guys, like the family members. They were in so much pain, you know. Um, the, you know how um, villains nowadays, how... You know, they, they don't show any emotion and they're all hard rock and they just um, have a cigar and they, like, put it on someone's face or something, you know. But in this movie, the main bad guy was actually crying because his son died and he actually put a bit of emotion in his role. But still, you know, one second you see him crying over his son and then one second he's, like, all up in this girl's face and all that. It was really cool. Um... Just to see that, you know, like this guy actually had emotion because if you, someone did take a son, you would be emotional. So with the acting of this movie, um, it was you, good. Your mom would be rangy whether what you want to do to the person that killed your son, wouldn't it? That's what I liked about these bad guys because they acted it well. They they were emotional because their family members dying, but also they wanted to kill Liam Neeson's ass. So it was actually really cool acting. Yeah, his ass. And... Uh, you know, I thought the special effects in this film were really, uh, they were quite well done, you know. Now, nothing too big happened in it, like the car rollovers that happened and all that. I thought they were pretty good, and the grenades and all that. And, you know, I, I thought, thought it was like, pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, there, um, there was some pretty good music to it as well, and the soundtrack was quite good. On the subject of special effects, I should get to it, is um, the camera work. On some bits, the camera work wasn't too great, and same with the lighting. The camera was a bit fuzzy on some scenes. They did that to put you into the feel of the mood of the scene which was taking place, because I remember there's a bit um, where they've got Liam Neeson in the room, and that bit is a bit sort of like a bit intense, but the camera works a bit yeah. funny. Um, I, I don't know, but I just didn't like it. Like I thought the lighting could have had a little bit um, tweaked, and the camera work on some bits with the action was a bit too fast, like really quick cuts. Yeah, yeah. It's really hard to see what's happening. Yeah. So those are the two downfalls. Yeah, there's a bit where Liam Neeson was fighting a few guys. And yeah, cuts. with the poles and stuff. Yeah. And it was really quick cuts, and it was really hard to see what was going on. I thought Liam Neeson played a good father role again. He's protective, like always. That's what I like about um, Liam Neeson. He's always He's played a good father, can he? Yeah, yeah, that's what Battle I was about. and all them. Yeah, that's the thing. He's consistent with the Barb roles. He's good in Battleship. He's good in uh, the original Taken. You know, he's good at playing the overprotective father. And um, all the acting was good. I thought all the acting was good. No picks there. And I thought Liam Neeson did really great in this movie, even yeah. action-wise. He was great in hand-to-hand combat and even with the gun. I liked the way um, he acted out like... You could just, you could know what he was acting like. Um, you know how he's given the daughter instructions on certain bits, what to do, you know, you know, that, you know, what this guy's done in the past movie, and you're thinking, well, yeah, he did a lot of things. Are, this guy's a really good, like, detective and all that. He got into the role really well, and, um, you could really look at Liam Neeson, that character, and think, Oh, well, that guy, that's that um, detective dude that Mike is really smart and stuff. Yeah. Um, that's the thing about the original. It was really good. Like, you saw his mind and how good he was, how he could find his daughter and stuff. And um, in this movie, it's consistent. Again, like, he was in this bus. It's not much of a spoiler. He has a bag over his head. And um, he, like, knows where he is and stuff. And it's so mm-hmm. crazy, like... He is really good in this movie, like of the psychological side as well. The only pick what I have about Liam Neeson being like the main action dude was a bit when he was getting chased by this really young fit dude. And you see Liam Neeson, he's so old, he's running really slow. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. It's kind of like me trying to run away from Baden, you know. He's kind of unrealistic in a way. Uh, no. Tag. You're it. <coughs>
Guys, I want to say that I really like the the storyline that was written down for this, the scenes that they made for the detective work that the father mm. did. Um, they were just completely. I didn't really think that. Um, just it was really smart. Whoever wrote them bits, whoever wrote the script for this, and wrote the the scenes of what was happening, really did a great job. With um, there's a bit where she has to get a map out the door, and she has to find where her dad is, and all that. And there's a great explanation and a and a just like a great spectacular scene that's displayed there anyway. I thought it was a good movie, but it's not as good as the original. It was just good. a good movie. I'll give just it good. just good, but it's not great. So it won't be like number one on my top ten best movies of two thousand twelve. I'd give it about three. I'd give it three and a half stars out of five, and you'd give it three out of five. I'd probably give it about three out of five. Well, I did really like the film. I, 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 I just, I didn't like it as much as Taken One, so. Yeah, it is a good action, but, you know, there's, a, there's other better actions I've seen this year. I think Safe is, um, I don't know Safe a lot more than that one, but I do, Safe. I know for sure I like Expendables 2 more than, um, Taken 2. Yeah, so, Safe was great. Did you see that movie? Yeah. Oh. Actually, I like Safe. Oh! Actually, I like Safe more than uh, Taken 2 because I gave it four stars out of five. Yeah. So if you like this review, like it. If you like it more than that, favourite it. And if you like it that much, if you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. And a link to our Facebooks in the description. In the Facebooks. My Facebook, Dylan's gonna add that if he's gonna be a good. No, kid. just just the page. Okay, page one of Dylan Mix One fan page. You can like it. We'll give our face, our personal Facebooks on there. You know, whatever you want, guys. We'll we'll talk to you about movies, and we will tell you. You know, we'll tell you stuff because we have great psychological, great psychological mental minds. Leave a comment. Um. Tell us your thoughts on Taken or even Taken 2 if you've seen it. Okay, leave a comment, leave a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you stop this review, Dylan, I'd just like to say to my fans, I love you. <laughs> I love you. You've got fans. My, my babes one, follow a watcher, fan dudes, fan boys, fan girls. <laughs> no, we, we, no, wait, man, we're supposed to do that together, that one. So here we go. Three, two, three, two, one.